Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electric. We're here today at a home for a customer doing an aluminum pigtail copper splice through the whole house for the outlets, switches, GFCIs, dimmers, J boxes, all of that. Um, want to talk to you real quickly about the two methods that is able to be used. One is these Alumicons. These are a twist down method which allows the copper and the aluminums to stay separate and then you have your twist caps. These twist caps can get no more than probably two aluminums and a copper in there. And uh, these can't get any more than two aluminums and a copper as well. The frustrating part about it is that this has got three aluminums and it has a pigtail for the copper and another one that somebody installed a little while ago and that's supposed to stab in here. So again, your devices are only rated for copper so that's why you got to do your Lumicons. Um, a lot of people think that it's okay method to squirt deox like this inside here or in here, but here's the result of what happens when you squirt deox. This tan wire cap is only um, probably within about five to seven years old. Uh, the tans have not been around for that style that long. We used to do the yellows and the reds, so my thought is that this was done a while ago. But this is in the master bedroom in a space heater, so you can see how it melted it like wax. Um, you cannot squirt deox in there. If someone does that, they are cheating you of your price. Uh, your Lumicons are fairly expensive. Uh, these are always about a buck more than these. Um, bottom line though, about a dollar fifty more actually, or to two bucks more. Um, but they are pretty much a grande and a vente uh, at a Starbucks per each connection. And in this box, we've got four of them just to make this right. Um, the other methods that is possible is a crimp method, but I cannot find myself where to get this crimp method. I have searched high and low at five, six wholesale stores within Denver all the way up to Fort Collins. And um, unless people are using the old solder method, uh, that is possible to do as well. Uh, it is very time consuming. Um, can I say one's better than the other? Well, the Lumicons, the good thing is that the aluminum and copper never touch. It's on the bus bar. In these, they do touch. But with these, you actually have to make sure that they are in the teacup position when you shove them back in the box. Because if you put them in like this, you're going to pour out that deox in time. And you don't want to do that because they have little fins inside there that keep that deox from trying to keep some of that air coming in. What I'd like to show you right here is here is a... Here is a right here this ties it goes from here to the panel you can hear my phone charging freaking out but look at that just that's just aluminum to aluminum and I'm, I'm starting to get smoke come out now you imagine putting copper on there and having that dissimilar metal and then imagine putting a load in that the space heater was right here receiving everybody else's current on its piggyback and then back out to the panel. That's what's so nice about these Alumicons and the twist caps is that when you twist them together and you parallel it, you're not putting the power in and out of the device. You're putting it on the splice connector. But again, if I owned a home with aluminum, I would never ever use a space heater that plugs in from Sam's, whether it's oil, fan driven, or radiant. But from Costco, Sam's, your big box stores, Home Depot, Lowe's, anywhere, even online on Amazon, anything rated for 1,000 to 1,500 watt space heaters with aluminum homes especially, you don't want to do that. Uh, unless it's a dedicated copper circuit, then you would be okay to that room. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.